Hi everyone, this is Shirley from Shirley's World and I'm trying to get my uh, chat up here. <clears throat> <clears throat> I can never tell if I'm going to get it up or not. Sometimes it goes up really easy and sometimes it doesn't. I think I have this turned on. Sorry. I wanted to do this early today because we expect a storm in a couple hours, a bad storm front go through. So um, I wanted to get this done before the storm goes through. I'm hoping it doesn't knock out my electricity and that we don't have a lot of rain. I don't know why this is doing what it's doing. But if it doesn't come up, that's okay. Uh, I spent $71.58 and I bought 30 items. So that comes to $2.39 each. <clears throat> and uh, that's pretty good. As long as I, I'm really happy if I stay below two and a half dollars each. Uh, I had a 35% off coupon and uh, the rest of the things uh, were 50% off because it was tag change day. And it says I'm not connected to the internet, which I know I am. So we're just going to forget about this. <clears throat> That's because this this uh, iPad is probably still connected to my uh, to the router that's out in the uh, although it says it's connected to this router. I have two routers in the house because I don't know why I have to have that. Uh, you'd think one router in one house would be enough. But we kept having trouble getting a uh, connection out in the family room where I spend a lot of time. So they finally came and gave me another router, and it's out there. So I have two numbers. <clears throat> I have two numbers, and uh, that's why sometimes there's a problem if I come in here and it's connected to the other router. I don't know why it should just pick it up. But... <clears throat> Sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, I'm going to show you uh, a couple things that are, are not clothing uh, before I show you the other things. Um, I found this way, little postal weighing uh, scale. I have one of these. This is a digital one. I have one. In fact, I have two. One for upstairs, too. So I don't need this. Uh, but I bought it to sell because they cost around $20, $25 at the least uh, for one of these. I got this for, it was marked $6, so I had 35% off of this. So I'll be able to sell it cheaper than uh, they can get it on Amazon. But it does weigh. They will have to pay shipping, so I don't know if it'll be a bargain for them. But uh, I can I can make it pretty cheap. That's why I got it because I don't really need it. And it looks like I am not going to get a uh, chat up here. So if you have anything to say, just please leave a comment uh, below uh, whenever you see this. And uh, let me show you the other thing I got. I got a, for $8, this is marked, uh, a Canon Power Shot A590IS. Um, so I opened it, was, I opened the box and looked it up. It had batteries in it and it has a card in it. 
I don't know what kind of card or anything about it. It also has software. It's good for both Windows and Macs. Um, it's a little power shot camera. It has a strap. It has all the wires and everything, and the booklet and everything. So I did uh, check for the batteries. The battery compartment's clean, and it does go on. And it does show the screen in the back. So I'm hoping this work. I'll have to try it out, take some pictures. But um, I, I got this to I'll see what kind of video it takes. Because 35% uh, off of $8 is pretty cheap for a little camera that will do uh, video. And this is 8 megapixels which isn't too bad so we'll see so those two things i got <clears throat> i also decided i would try some books now it seems dumb that i'm buying books because i have lots of books that i can just start selling don't look at my tooth hole please um this one looked interesting to me. I may just read this one first, but uh, it's by Jason Wright. It's a, it was a New York bestseller uh, called The Cross Gardener. So I don't know what it's about or anything, but I looked it up. You can scan uh, the barcodes, you know, on eBay, just like you can on Amazon. So if something went for over $8, sold for over eight dollars i just picked it up so we'll try it try some books and see what that that does because i can ship them media mail and i've never done that before so i'll i'll learn how to do that i'm sure there's nothing to it you just I'll say it's media mail and put a and get the uh postage for it the other another book i got this uh by glenn beck and it's called being george washington and it's uh, about in his day and how he uh, had to govern back in his day. So it's probably very interesting. Then I saw this Harley Davidson book. Anything Harley Davidson, I figure is good. So uh, this is all different uh, cycles from different years and different models. So I would think Harley people would love something like this and it's a softback and it it uh, was going for like 15 16 dollars so I don't know I thought I'd try these just to see I'm trying some different things uh, after you after you look at clothes 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 it's fun to go over into the other sections of the goodwill and uh, Try to get something else. They did have some good ties today. You know how I love to buy ties. So let me show you the ties I got. <clears throat> they had several Jerry Garcia ties. And they have a certain look. And I can usually pick them out right away without even looking. But there's the Jay Garcia. And they all have a name. This one is called South of the Border, and it's in collection 15. They'll have a number. So this Jerry Garcia. And here's another Jerry Garcia one. This is really a pretty one. It's with the blue. Isn't that pretty? And this one is called... Banyan Trees 2, Collection 14. Banyan Trees 2. I really think that's pretty. But I won't be wearing it. But. <clears throat> and another Jerry Garcia. Or no, this isn't Jerry Garcia. It sort of looks... Yes, it is. Huh. Oh, there's two here, that's why. I thought the Snoopy one was Jerry Garcia. No, this is the Jerry Garcia one. 
and this is called Scaly Monster and Blue Man, Collection 22. I don't know how they name these ties. Scaly Monster and Blue Man. Strange. <clears throat> and then I saw a Peanuts one. I love these Peanuts ties. Uh, this one's called Jungle Joe. And it's from 1958, 1965. I don't know. But it's uh, Snoopy in the Jungle and Tweety Bird. He's looking at things. This magnifying glass. So I like that one. And then one of, I rarely, rarely find anything by is, does anybody recognize the whale there? You can tell it's a whale. Or no, this is an alligator. Usually there's a whale. That's a clue on it. This is, these are little alligators. But this is Vineyard Vines. Vineyard Vines Custom Collection. Looks just like a uh, pattern until you get up close and look at it. There's a bunch of little, little alligators. <clears throat> but vineyard vines, anything vineyard vines is good. So those are the ties that I got. They have the normal ones, Tommy Hill. They had Tommy Hilfiger and Joseph A. Bank too, but I just wanted to get those different ones. Okay, now I have something that I got for me wrapped up in this uh, shirt here. I told her to wrap it up so it doesn't break because it was so cute. I'm going to keep this because it is just a dollar. And look at this little bird. How cute. It's just resin, just a resin little bird. It's so little, and I keep little birds on my fireplace mantle out in the family room. So it was just a dollar, and 35% off of that, so it wasn't much. So that's mine. And what it was wrapped up in. Uh, sale tag, half-price tags were red, so... I I didn't get that many red tags, but the rest were 35% off. Uh, oh, this is a uh, this is a black uh, scrub top. The reason I got it is it's by Gray's Anatomy, and that's a good brand to sell. And it's a 2XL uh, black. Uh, it's belted. You can see there. And this could be worn by uh, male or female, doesn't matter. So I got that one. Hmm. And I'll show you the shoes last. So let's get into the clothing here. I saw this newest tags, uh, not your daughter's jeans. Uh, Slim fit or slimming fit. Uh, a four petite. These are four petite, but they're cropped. They're uh, uh, capris. <laughs> I wouldn't normally buy a lot of capris at this time of year, but it was new with tags, so I got it. Nice beige color. The legs have a slit in the bottom. Nice pair of. Uh, Pants, yeah, small size though. <clears throat> Another reason I wanted to do this before the storm was because I wanted to get all this stuff out of these bags so that it doesn't get too wrinkled. This is like sweatshirt material and it's by Pink, Victoria's Secret Pink line. It just says Love Pink on the front. 
nothing on the back. And it's size uh, medium. I could wear this and my granddaughter would have a, would have a fit because she wants these. Uh, but it's way too big for her. I have given her a couple uh, pink things. <clears throat> okay. Here's a, uh, this is denim, and it's sort of a charcoal gray, really dark, almost black, like a wash out black, maybe, and has embroidery on it. There's three button denim, and it's a Susan Graver. I found a lot of Susan Graver today. This is a size large Susan Graver. Uh cotton and spandex, so a cute little jacket with embroidery. Now this I just got to put on Poshmark because it's not a anything that I've ever heard of, Yannique, young eek, Yannique. <laughs> However you pray. Don't smile, Shirley. <laughs> uh, it's sheer, and as you can see at the bottom, you tie it there at the waist. So it's a short little crop top, and it's long sleeve with buttons. Really cute. It has little daisies all over it. So I'll fix that up on the mannequin and uh, put it on Poshmark. I got another little jacket. <laughs> this is by Ralph, by Ralph Lauren. And it's a size, how do I make this so dark? A large, a women's large. I should have buttoned this. Or it's snaps, I guess. Yeah, it's snaps. And it's uh, sort of fitted. So. <clears throat> If you can see the shape of it, if I snap a couple of these. The, the back has uh, stitching to make it look fitted. So cute little denim jacket. Uh, goes over the hips, so it's not real short like a... Uh, jean jacket. <clears throat> I got this other jacket because number one, this will fit me. I always like to have on hand little jackets that will go with black dress pants. <laughs> and this pattern just jumped out at me. This is a cold water creek, so it's a really nice jacket. It's all lined. It's a size eight, and let me button this. See, when I just pull things out of the bag, they're not really ready to display. This has three buttons. I'll button two of them. But I like the pattern. It's sort of, I don't know. It's just sort of nice I, with black pants. That would look really, or you could get gray pants. Either one would go with this. I like uh, things. I'll put it for sale, but I'll have it up there in case I need it. That's one thing nice about selling, selling on eBay. You can wear some of the things too because they're used. Uh, you're selling used clothing. And if you're really careful. You can use the things. Uh, here's another little blouse. This, this, you don't tie this. It's already stitched like, it's already made like that down there. It looks like it's tied. And this is by Paper Crane. Paper Crane is 
is sold in anthropology stores. And this is a real lightweight um, uh, blue window pane, blue and white window pane. I just thought it was a cute pattern. Uh, little blouse, short sleeve. More summery, but people do go to Florida in the winter from up here. And it's not cold all over the place. It's just here. Uh, this is going to be hard to show because this is a, sort of a strange thing. Let me get back here. This is by Tord, okay? And these are all stitched metal thingies on here. It goes in the front, on the front neckline, and then like a V. But the sleeves, this is like one, can you see? It's like a V. I knew, I knew I should have turned my phone on. I'm not going to answer that, so please excuse me. So this must uh, be it's just like a bat wing, but it's real big. Just connects up here. It's it's not open. I mean, it's closed, but there's a big uh, tuck there. So this is a big size. This is a size, well, actually, size one half by Tord. And I'll have to look on the, uh, look here on the Tord list. To see what that means. I think a half. It's not like Chico's. Chico's is different. Chico's sizes is different. I have another one for Torrid here. Here. Okay. Torrid sizes. Torrid. One half. One X. I guess it doesn't have one that it doesn't have one a half it looks like a half size I don't understand this now look at this doesn't this look maybe it means one to two one to two and one is a one X and two is a two X so maybe that's because this is big this is a big piece so it has to, that's what it has to mean. But this is a real crepey type material. So I don't know. I hope I can show it off correctly on the uh, mannequin. But she doesn't have arms. <laughs> that's the problem. Uh, so now here's something exactly the opposite a t shirt. <clears throat> This is a brown t-shirt uh, by Inter International Harvester, which is a tractor, tractor equipment for farming. And, you know, farmers love their tractors, you know, like uh, John Deere and there's all kinds of tractors people love. They don't just have John Deere. International Harvester is another biggie. <clears throat> so... I don't know. I'd try it. Uh, it's only a dollar. A dollar something. Because t-shirts are two dollars and I have 35% off. So. Okay. This is a two-piece outfit. It's Susan Graber. And let me pull up the inside piece. It has an inside a uh, little tank top. Susan Graver. These are uh, size small. And the jacket's a linen jacket. Well, linen and rayon, mostly linen. And a small. And it has these cutouts. Uh, embroidery and cutouts and the back is all cut out like that 
and just a three, well, just sort of an elbow sleeve, not even three quarter sleeves, elbow sleeve. Hmm, the wind has died down. Probably the storm is a coming. It's getting darker. <clears throat> I want to have this done before that hits. Uh, I got a lot of slinky things because Susan Graver, that's why people like her things. Susan Graver, this is a 1X. This is sort of a block color, beige and, uh, beige and black. Nice looking top. Another Susan Graver in an extra large. Let's see that. And this is like, this is layered. They're all slinky, layered in this gray color. And then, a jeweled piece by Susan Graver in a large. And it has jewels around the neck. Now, I have two other pieces. I don't know if they're exactly the same. And one of them is this color. So I may have two of these. But holidays are coming. You know, these are nice uh, to wear with with black pants or whatever for the holidays. I think I have a pink one and that, that color one in the stock. And then somebody just showed a pair of these wild pants on one of their hauls. And uh, you know the 70s things, colors and patterns are coming back. So I went over and looked at these because they're sort of wide leg too. They're not exactly big flares, but they're wide, wide legs. And that's what's coming back. See, they're a little flared, these crazy patterns. And this is a small and by Melly M. Melly M. So I looked that up and it does real well. I mean, they sell in the 20s and 30 dollars so uh we'll see they're a nice heavy uh stretchy fabric and elastic of course wide waistband <laughs> a bathing suit which you wouldn't think i would buy at this time of year but it's a good brand, which is a Catalina. Where is it here? Here it is. Catalina, suddenly slim. This light is blaring, I know. Suddenly slim by Catalina in a 14, women's 14. So it's padded inside. And it ties around the neck. It's this nice purple color. And it has a uh, ruching on the, you know, gathering on the front tummy and a high back. So a woman would like to wear this at a pool in the winter. <laughs> so we don't like those tiny bikinis anymore on us. Okay, just a couple more things. A pair of corduroys. These are by Eddie Bauer. And they're curvy fit in a four petite. So they must ride down because this waist looks wide. So they must ride down on the hip. A nice olive color. <clears throat> uh, corduroy. And uh -huh. a 
Nike Pro Combat uh, stretchy, form-fitting, you know, fitted, uh, whatever you call these, like an athletic wear. And this does have a thumb hole, uh, sleeves with a thumb hole in it. I think it does, yeah, right there. <laughs> so small, real tight-fitting uh, top. The Nike swoosh on the arm. Okay, now I got a couple pairs of shoes. I found a pair of Dansko. These the toes on these need a little polish, but other than that, they're in good shape. These are. <clears throat> type of dance go. These are a small size, so I have to look it up. Whatever, a 37. I think it said 37. Because these are all um, <clears throat> European sizes. So I have to look up 37. But I don't think I can compare it to what how it fits me and just sort of tell you, oh, it wouldn't fit me. So maybe a seven. I don't know. I'll look it up. Because you put all those sizes. You put the, uh, on shoes like this that are sold internationally, you, you put the U.S., the Euro, and the U.K. sizes. So they just need buffed up a little bit on the toe. Uh Toes need a little polish. Other than that, they're in excellent condition. And these are another pair that needs a uh, clean. That won't take much. These are just a small size 7. But a pretty pair of Vans. Uh, let's see, Vans, which is a skateboard. Uh, company called well, Vans Off the Wall, which is what it says there on the heel. But these need really need scrubbed up. And the whites of sneakers around the edge, this rubber, those magic erasers do a wonderful job. You can see they've been used. There's a lot of mud on these. Uh, I'll just scrub these with a brush. Uh, and get them clean. But the tops are in uh, good condition. So I thought they were pretty. So that is, I think, everything that I got. <clears throat> and uh, the storm front, it was like almost 90 degrees today and real humid. So this is a cold front that's coming through here in northeast Ohio, all across Ohio. And uh, it's supposed to be fast moving, severe thunderstorms and hail and everything, uh, and lots of wind. It was windy all day, but now the winds died down a little bit. So we'll pick up, I think the storms are supposed to be here from five till like seven, and then it's supposed to be clear. So a quick moving storm that's going to knock the temperature down to like 60 degrees. <laughs> so I hope it doesn't disturb the horses. Changes in barometer like that are not good for the horses. So I'm going to close for now and uh, get these things stairs where they can photograph them and uh, take a look at that camera some more and scrub the shoes. So uh, have a good night. Hope you don't have any storms where you're at. And I don't know, Sue, if it's supposed to come across uh, eerie or not. Probably. But <clears throat> uh, probably later. So I'm going to close for now and take my little birdie and put it on the mantle out there. So uh, 
I'll say bye for now. Have a good day and um, please leave me a comment or if you haven't joined, uh, uh, please subscribe and hit that little bell next to the subscribe button and you'll get a notice when I go live. Okay, see you next time. Bye.